WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. We've got a sea of green. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got uh, mostly the U.S. indices trading the upside. The one that is not as NASDAQ 100 is up about three points. The Dow's up 152, half percent, three tenths for the S&P or 13, four tenths for the Russell, seven points there. The semis are up two tenths or six points. Gold's up 14 bucks. Silver's up 55 cents. Lights be crude back 68 pennies. Trade on at 73.58. Natural gas up four cents. 30 year treasury. Up uh, 28 ticks, 131.08 is the uh, print. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini in the upper left-hand side. Yesterday, we did see a close below the bottom of its daily profile out there. That daily profile bottom was 39.75. Price closed below it. You stay below it. That says we head lower. Lower would be 35.69. That would be the top of the weekly profile. Now, that would be a more likely outcome if and when that spot volatility gets above and stays above its 50-day exponential moving average. Currently, that's printed out at 24.33. The uh, spot is uh, trading out at 22.28. The NASDAQ. NASDAQ closed below the bottom of its daily profile yesterday, straight below it today. Could be targeting the center of its weekly profile. And that's at the 11 235 level. The U.S. dollar index, it has a buy the D point pattern. It is consolidating with inside its daily profile. It has support at 104.25 and resistance at 106.50. Gold consolidating within its daily profile. That's between 1756 and 1806. Silver is now trading above. Remember, we talked about silver. Silver is stronger than gold from the standpoint. Now, one, one, it is trading above the top of its daily profile. Now, that profile formed three days ago below price. That is a bullish signal out there. But I believe that silver does have a sell the D point pattern. Uh, that's when it generated this bearish engulfing candle on December the 5th. So we really have kind of a neutral signal. But if price is able to close above 2369, that's your level of resistance out there. It should be up, up, and away for hi ho silver. If you take a look, Lights Recruit is taking on its. TD9 count bottom, I believe, that's at 73.60, so a price close below that would negate that signal and suggest lower price. Natural gas, I still believe it has to pierce yesterday's low to generate some type of TD9 count by Friday out there, so you'll want to look for that. And the 30-year Treasury, no resistance, at least not on a daily basis. Price above the top of its daily profile, so we'll have to look at that 30-year Treasury note, a bond, uh, during the Trader's Edge show. Folks, if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Otherwise, stay tuned. Trader's Ed Show will be up in just a few.